In the collaboration with Sonic Prime, one of the two new event characters arriving to Speed Battle is called Tails 9. Tails 9, or dubbed 9 for short, is the result of a Tails from another dimension in which Sonic never existed to fight against his bullies. This leads into Tails using his smarts to mechanically create 7 extra Tails to fight back against his bullies. So basically he's an edgy Tails in another dimension, that's pretty much it. While Tails 9 as a character is cool as a concept, let's dive into the kit and tools of this 9 tailed fox and see what he brings to the table of Speed Battle. Let's jump in with his stats. Tails 9 stats are, ironically, 9 out of 10 across the board. While it's funny and ironic that his stats are just 9 like his name, this means that he has virtually zero weaknesses in terms of his stats. He's fast, he can pick up speed quickly, and he has no problem tanking most attacks thrown at him online. You won't be having to worry about whether or not you can make a huge comeback or if you can tank a hit when you're using Tails 9, because he has such a huge amount of coverage in terms of his stats, it's honestly a little overpowered in today's meta. So overall, Tails 9 has a very strong stat set and is a formidable option to use in online PvP. With his stats covered, now let's take a look at the power-ups Tails 9 is able to use in-game. Tails 9 Projectile is the energy cannon. Essentially a clone of Gamma's missile launch, the energy cannon functions in a similar fashion by launching a certain amount of projectiles in front of Tails 9 to damage enemies. Although the energy cannon ha also has a small boost of speed while using it that allows you to keep up a decent amount of speed while also applying pressure to enemies. All in all, energy cannon is a solid projectile power-up that not only helps with comebacks, but also helps deal with players in front of you in a tricky way. Now next up on Tails 9's kit is his boost, the Metal March. Like most boosts, this one is designed to help Tails 9 pick up speed and catch up to leading characters. However, the Metal March is an extremely powerful boost when you take the time to look into it. Not only does Tails pick up big speed, he also gets a big boost at the very beginning to help lunge into opponents and damage them during the Metal March. Yep, you heard me right, the Metal March can damage enemies should they come into contact with Tails 9 during the boost duration. So not only does Metal March have huge speed and utility, it can crush anyone who gets in the way and straddle them behind Tails 9's dust. So overall, an incredibly strong boost that makes Tails 9 a very scary problem if he's behind you or next to you. And lastly, Tails 9's trap is the explosive mine. It's definitely the trap ever, let me tell you that. Though in fairness, the mine does do a lot of damage if it manages to hit anyone, so I can't call it bad, but I can't exactly call it good either since it's super easy to avoid and see coming. So I'll just call it average, it's middle of the road. Nothing special, but nothing terrible either. With everything covered about Tails 9, such as his kit and stats, let's dive right into my final verdict and rank for Tails 9. Collectively, Tails 9's kit is a very strong tool set and more than viable against the likes of Mephilus and Movie Knuckles. I'm willing to go as far as to say that he's honestly better than the super forms we've gotten in terms of special rarity characters. Because of this, I'm going to play into the name here and give Tails 9 a 9 out of 10 character rating. While his trap is mediocre, everything else about Tails 9 is top tier and leaves Tails 9 with next to no weak points to speak of. He's fast, strong, formidable, and capable of dominating most matches you play should you use him correctly. As of right now, his event is still alive, so I recommend you pick him up and give him a whirl sometime. He's one of the few characters I tested at level 1, and during my playtime, he impressed me so much with his utility, his strength, his speed. He was constantly in first place because players just didn't know how to counter him. He's such an unpredictable character that you barely see him coming at times. So yeah, Tails 9 is fantastic. He's worth the grind, so when you have a shot, give him a shot. That was a nice little rhyme, but yeah, give him a go.